What's up, everyone? We're back. Dr. Maxfield. Dr. Shaw. Welcome back to our channel, Dr. Lee. Jeez, it's been a long time. <laughs> okay. Welcome back to our channel, Dr. Lee, where we talk about all things skincare and dermatology. So today we have a product comparison review, part of our sunscreen wars. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, this one just came up out of nowhere. So we were like, we got to get on this one immediately. But we actually have a big announcement to make as well. Life is changing for us at the Dr. Lee channel. Um, we have spent the last three years living in the same town. Uh, we've known each other for that in med school and everything. And now we spent three years working together and starting next week, we will now be living apart. Yeah, <laughs> I think this is going to hit me as time passes. It's kind of a weird thing. I think both of us, it's like, you know, every day is just another day. But thinking back, it's actually an amazing, incredible set of circumstances and journey that we've both been a part of, like together and just the roads and how things just, I don't even know, it's just fortune, destiny. It's been, it's been crazy. Yeah, it hasn't hit me yet. If people are like, how do you, how do you yeah. feel? I'm like, I don't know, like it. I feel like maybe in a few weeks it'll hit me, but life right now has just been like day to day to day that like there hasn't been a lot of time to look back and quantify everything that's happened or like categorize it. And this is a big move, I think, for both of us. You know, we're both going to be practicing in different offices from like four hours apart from each other. That being said, we're still going to shoot content together. It's we're just going to have to come together in a different city to make it happen. But we're going to make it happen because we think it's important that we stay together. I think the channel will evolve. I think there'll be different types of content on it, but we're going to still get together to shoot the content that we've been shooting. Thankfully, we're going to be able to keep that arm of it together with all of you all. I mean, this has been such a cool community, community feel vibe. And so we're going to just keep all of that intact and then just enjoy this adventure that life has for us and move forward. Yeah, we're, we're grateful for all of you over the last two years. I, I'm grateful for Dr. Maxfield. You probably never saw our How We Became Dermatologist video. <laughs> Um, cause that was like targeted to a very select audience. But the reason that we came together, I came into dermatology was because of Dr. Maxfield. And the reason he came into social media was because of me. And so this intertwining like of us just kind of elevating and lifting each other has been a theme for us over the last like seven years or so. So it's just the next stage and um, grateful to him and, and grateful to all of you. I have to at least say the same, like I can't explain to you how grateful I am for Dr. Shaw. Like if you watched our earlier videos, like I'm very shy, very timid and like, but the things he's just helped me grow in like beyond, well beyond even social media. Like I, I can't even speak to that. Just I've learned so much from him along the way and he's just, I can't even explain it, but I'm super in awe of him. Him. so much respect i just can't even tell you that's too much i, mean, I think uh <laughs> both of us like with i mean together we've we've sort of elevated each other made each other better in, in ways not just within dermatology but like within our own personal lives and watching him and his family and him raise kids and, and be a good father and, and things like that like those examples that kind of trickle into all aspects of our lives so it's just been a crazy journey i hope we continue to grow and elevate each other over the next few years <laughs> 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 okay, that was heavy. So now we're going to go back to our sunscreen review. Trader Joe's versus Super Goop. The most unusual comparison on our <laughs> channel. So this is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen versus the Trader Joe's Daily Facial Sunscreen, which is supposed to be a dupe of the famous uncomparable Unseen Sunscreen. And this isn't the first dupe attempt. Like if you've ever looked into this before, there was the Kroger dupe. And that was a bit of a flop. So how does this one compare? Ah, uh, I don't know if it can be done. Can it be done? The unseen sunscreen, the king of invisible. Can it compare to a Trader Joe's $9 sunscreen? We're going to talk about it. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so this is actually kind of funny because it was like a race to Trader Joe's. Like, I, I thought it was gonna be sold out. It was closed. When I was there, there were yeah. five left. Oh, there was like 20. Okay, so they're restocked after okay. I went. I thought they were out. The comparison here is both subjective and objective. Supergroup has this legendary right. reputation for being see-through, which is baffling in and of itself. And then of course it blends perfectly. And then, you know, it's effective, water resistant, and then the ingredient list. So subjectively, do these compare? Objectively, I've mapped this all out. So there can be no doubt about if the ingredients match and line up. Okay, so he actually compared these side by side so we can kind of go through that right now. First of all, we're gonna talk about texture, feel, fit, 
everything like that. But let's go first through just baseline what we're looking at. We're looking at price wise, the super goop unseen sunscreen, 1.7 ounces is going to run you $36, which is pretty high, I would argue. But it was justified by how good it was comparatively. Now you have the, the new one from Trader Joe's. This is going to run you just $9, same 1.7 fluid ounces that we're dealing with. So comparable on size, much cheaper on the price from Trader Joe's. Yeah, there's no question. So, I mean, the rest stacks up. I mean, price point is unbeatable. So then just the next big parts, again, both are water resistant, both are chemical sunscreens, both have the same combination of actives, pretty much. So taking a look here, they both contain avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. And there's like a specific reason that these are the blend together. Some stabilize each other, they all elevate each other collectively as SPF. And this is actually a very common combination, believe it or not. It, this is a combination that universally blends. So like if you're just shopping on a shelf, you see this combination of ingredients, there's a safe bet that this is gonna blend seamlessly for you. I've heard in the past that people say like avobenzone's not stable in the sun, it degrades, that's true. That's the reason why we put these other chemical filters in there is because they stabilize avobenzone. And so avobenzone with these other ingredients is actually sun stable. All right, so looking at the rest of the ingredients here, if we look at the inactive ingredients in the sunscreen, pretty much the main players are gonna be exactly the same here. So you have your shea butter, you have your jojoba esters, which are gonna be the same between the two. Both have silica, which absorb oil. Both have tocopherol or vitamin E in them. The one difference um, between them is that dematiaceous earth is within the supergroup sunscreen which is an oil absorbent. It has almost a little bit of a gritty texture. It's actually in like one of my hair products. And then in the... I'd say the frankincense is unique. So like that's another thing in the super group. They actually list that as a highlighted ingredient. So I mean, I don't know if it really adds any value truthfully, but it is in the super group. And if you just have to have the frankincense, then you're gonna be disappointed with Trader Joe's. Close ingredient list, not identical ingredient list. So there are some small differences. Now the question is, how do they perform? So if you've seen Sunscreen Wars, we compare them side by side on the face and we decide which one we like better, which one blends better. So on the left side of my face, I'm gonna use Unseen. And then on the right side of the face, I'm gonna use the Trader Joe's one. All right, let's start off with Unseen finger length because that has to cover finger length, finger length. Here's the... Comes out clear. It's like a yellowish, Clearish. Yeah, this one has that like nice cirrus straw colored blister fluid type of color. It's exactly what it is. So I'm gonna put it on one side of the face here. Your left, right? Or left. Uh, our left. I yeah, so our left is super good. This is super okay. good. Don't wanna screw this up. So I actually, I mean, you've got facial hair all the time. Blends really well with facial hair. I mean, I, exactly. I love this sunscreen. I mean, I, I think we highlighted this in our best sunscreens of all time mm -hmm. video. I mean, super goop unseen. Oh, I just like rub that on that side of the face. Get it off, get it off. I mean, just seamless. No, no real odor to it, I would argue. Oh yeah, real subtle frankincense. Like frankincense? Or you look familiar with this? I am actually, I went to Oman and they take great pride in the fact that frankincense was actually derived even traditionally and historically from Oman. I think they mm -hmm. claim that it's only from there originally. Oh wow. So we actually bought some and brought it back. They might've scammed us, but so they were very proud of so that. So he fact. can sprinkle the frankincense inside of the Trader Joe's one and now he's got a super good product. <laughs> Ingredient list wise. So what do you think so far? Invisible. I mean, it's, it's it invisible. It's like texture. That. Do you know what I'm talking about? This. It's like a. Not, it's not a smell. It's a texture. <laughs> it's like a. Uh, it's like a. Like the only way to describe it is a matte. It's like a primer um, texture. It's, it's just nothing. Like, you've never felt anything like it. Quite. Quite like it. It's real subtle though. But invisible and matte. Like you have yeah. no shine. If you're somebody who doesn't like shine, like just absolutely no shine. Yeah, except for the glob in the middle of your nose. Okay. That's well, that's, I mean, you saw it as we applied it. There's never any cast. I mean, which makes sense from what it looks like. It was just invisible from the get-go. So absolutely invisible. Now let's see if this $9 dupe can pull it off. Also, interestingly, they, they put like a sticker. So I don't know if you can see this, but they put a sticker over the ingredient list. So there was somehow like some type of error in the spelling of it, which which gives me like a little bit of lack of confidence <laughs> in the middle of the packaging, but that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> we move, we move. All right, so Trader Joe's Facial Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SP F40, oil-free, invisible gel formula, fragrance-free, water and sweat resistant up to 40 minutes. Finger-length sunscreen. So now- This has no yellow no tint. No yellow tint. This one is truly clear. I mean, it's as clear as you can get. It is as clear as you can get. All right, so dab, dab, dab. The side of the face, get that into the beard a little bit. Neck, ears, really get it in there. Now this has like a scent. Do you smell that? Yeah. It's like lemony. 
It's fragrance free, but it's got like a better smell, I would argue. I actually prefer this texture. So I think it's creamier. It's creamier. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So it's oil free, but it, it feels a little bit oilier. If you more moisturizing, more hydrating, where this one feels completely matte. This one has a little bit more glide to it. I have to let this sit for a couple minutes to really good idea here. These are, I mean, obviously they're great, right? Super Group <laughs> is legendary because it's a legend. I think it's giving me. Okay. So wait, hang on. Let's backtrack. <laughs> okay. 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 Both are invisible. Perfectly invisible. Okay. So we agree both are, are invisible. So it definitely passes like Visibly, no difference. Same sun protection value in them. Now, there is a slight difference in the texture. Now, it depends on whether you like that matte feel or you like more of a glide, moisturizing, oily feel to it. So it really comes down to which one you like better, I think, texture-wise. I would say these are perfectly comparable to me. That's why it's getting beat. Yeah, this is this is this is the one of the best, if not the best dupes I've ever seen. It's shockingly good. Shockingly. Like I don't even how are we gonna reconcile this? Cost. $36 versus nine dollars. Yeah, I, I would run to Trader Joe's. Like not don't walk. Run. Yeah, this is probably gonna sell, I would assume sell out. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was gonna sell out. It, this, I mean, yeah, how is this not gonna be your go-to for every day, you know? It's like crazy, unless you're really dedicated on tinted. So I guess tinted is If you have a darker skin tone and you're prone to hyperpigmentation and you're doubling down on protecting yourself from visible light, you gotta go tinted, right? So gosh, that'd be like the only situation where I feel like, yeah. That being said, we we don't know, like, right. you know, obviously Supergroup is a very reliable brand when it comes to sunscreen. We don't know how the Trader Joe's sunscreen is gonna hold up over time. So so assuming that everything that they say on the packaging is correct, the SPF is truly 40, is water resistant up to 40 minutes, I would go grab the Trader Joe's one. I would too. I mean, unanimous now. Boom. This round on price alone goes to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Next week, we'll be covering the Trader Joe's sunscreen scandal controversy <laughs> when it fails the test. <laughs> That's why I hate talking about sunscreen. I know, right? Yeah. This There's just... always a sunscreen scandal. Like, it's probably like 95% benzene at this point. <laughs> yeah, I just don't understand, though. Like, on this end of it, where we're, you know, we're not chemists, we're not familiarities. How do you get something so inexpensive. Did Supergroup like pioneer the science behind that? And that's how they're eating the cost? Because $36 for a high-end face sunscreen isn't crazy. That's pretty normal. Like, where are they buying these products that it's $9 for something so identical? Formulation is not that expensive, you know, especially if you don't have to invest in like testing or you're doing it at scale or you own your contract manufacturer that fills the formulas and you're not using expensive packaging, which neither of them are using expensive packaging. You can probably get the prices pretty low, but they're running razor thin margins. But you also have to think that Supergroup has to pay like Sephora, Ulta, the retailer, 50% almost of their sale, right? So. If you think about it, Supergroup's only getting $18 of that sale. And then with the Trader Joe's, they're distributing it through their own network. So they keep 100% of that profit. So you can get pretty close just because you own your own distribution. That's crazy. Anyway, crazy. Go grab it. Test it out yourself. Let us know what you think in the comments. Grab it immediately. I, I doubt it's going to stay around for long. I'm going to go buy like three or four. Yeah, same. Go to. All right. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, let us know what you want us to review next for Sunscreen Wars, and we'll see you in the next video. All right. See you next time.